my name is Jo and I'm here today with a Walmart haul. Now this is a special kind of Walmart haul. It's not just any old brand, it's one specific brand. I brought clothes only from the Scoop brand. Scoop is S-C-O-O-P and according to the website, Scoop is exclusively at Walmart. And this is, when you look at it on the on this website, this is a more expensive Walmart brand. And the clothes start, from what I can see, in the 30s. I mean, I brought a pair of pants here that I think I paid $36 for, which for Walmart is a lot of money. So I really wanted to know if Scoop was actually worth the money or not. So I'm calling this haul the Scoop on Scoop. And I have a few outfits that we're gonna try. I have the uh, prices I paid right here. Uh, I don't think, there was no, Walmart doesn't have sales really like other stores have. And it doesn't put a lot of clothes on clearance. If it was on clearance, I will, I will let you know. But I don't think, oh, I think one dress was on clearance. And there wasn't a lot to pick from in terms of, you know, variety of clothing. There was a lot of the same style of clothing but with a different print and I didn't see the point in buying, you know, the same pair of trousers in three different prints. So let's take a look at what I brought from Scoop from Walmart. First up, we'll start with the dress that I think was on clearance and that is this shirt dress. And there's the, there's the scoop label. I am a size 14 typically in most stores. However, I like my clothes to feel looser. And so large is often 12 to 14 and extra large is supposed to be 16 to 18. I'm definitely not a 12 and I'm definitely a, like a higher 14. So I prefer to size up to the extra large. I think that fits me better. It is looser, it is not tight at all. And so that's what I've done. These are all extra large, even though, I think one pair of trousers I brought in my size, even though um, extra large is 16, 18, I, I just prefer things to not be tight on me, and so I would size up. I guess you could say I'm a size extra large, but I'm really not. It really is looser on me, and when I buy sized items, I do always buy, nearly always buy a 14. So I, I do think that is my size, it's just I have the preference to things to be looser. And if it is really loose, I'll let you know, and if it's tight, well then it definitely wouldn't, it's not the right size. And uh, anyhow, so I brought this dress and it has a really nice label on the inside. Oh, and I'm five foot four and a half for height. And okay, so here's this dress. I love the pattern. It's really pretty. The fabric feels really nice. It is, it is see-through, but nothing that wearing, you know, darker underwear wouldn't hide. It comes with a belt. I believe it is knee length and Walmart calls this the scoop belted shirt dress in women's and I paid $19.99. This dress is made from 100% rail which is a fabric I quite like. It feels nice, it feels like it's going to be cooler but it does have long sleeves so this is not really a summer dress. I mean even if you bunch them up to your elbows where I live in Virginia, today it's going to be 100 degrees and it's humid. I don't want long sleeves in any shape or fashion, rolled up or otherwise. But if you live somewhere less warm, I guess you could wear this in the summer. I think this is like a full piece, to be honest. Really pretty, really nice. Let's see how it fits. I like this dress a whole lot. Like, I think it's really pretty. It fits really nicely. I don't think I said, I know I said it was a shirt dress. But there are actually buttons all down the front. They are just covered up. They are functionable, functioning buttons like they do undo and do back up. And the, the pattern is beautiful, 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 my goodness. And uh, yeah, you can see it fits really nicely here. This is the area I'm always interested in that does it puff out. And I think it does a good job of not. And my back flat doesn't look too bad. I love the length. It is knee length. All the way around I, I think it might be slightly longer at the back which feels really nice it does feel really good I can tell you right now it's not breathing like there's no breathability at all there are two buttons at the cuff and I'm gonna quickly cuff these because I'm hot <laughs> it's, it's a hot day this this is not a summer dress for where I am but I do think it would be beautiful in the, in the fall this is the size that I like 
However, if I undo the belt, you can see there's quite a nice amount of room here. So if you were a size 14 who liked things tighter, you probably could get away with it. You probably could size to your real size. But I'm happy I sized up. I have absolutely no body gapage whatsoever. I don't have to worry about it. I, you know, I can move around. I really like how the belt cinches it in. I don't like necessarily where they put the belt, but they have it attached with those skinny belt loops that really you can just chop off and they don't hold the belt on. You just tie it up, put it on, job done. I think this is a great full piece and uh, definitely, definitely a keeper. Next up we have a white top that I'm already not the biggest fan of and that's this white top. It has a little bit of a last, well actually it's not elastic, it's just ruched. I wonder if the um, the tie actually, no, the tie doesn't do anything, it doesn't tighten that, it just looks like it does. Has nice billowy sleeves. I think those are bell sleeves. Actually they might not be, they might just be wide sleeves. And there's a texture to the fabric if you can see it. I'm not so sure about this, it looks very big, which <laughs> um, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Again, size extra large. And this is the Scoop Solid Peasant Top in white. What I'm not sure that I like about it is how thick it is. It's, <laughs> it is still a little see-through, it's white. I mean, I think white is always just a little bit see-through, but it feels really thick. And that makes me think it wouldn't breathe very well. And this is definitely a summer top. And this is made from 100% cotton. Well, that's nice. 100% cotton, so it is a little thicker. So maybe I don't dislike it. We're gonna see how it fits. It looks like it might be on the rather generous end. We'll see. And this top I paid $28 for. So $28 for a Walmart white column top. All right, to go with this top, I have a few bottoms. Let's start with the first bottom. I'll just put this one here. And that's this beautiful skirt. And again, I got this in an extra large. It's a scoop mesh ruffle skirt. Got this beautiful floor on it, elastic waistband. And I'm actually glad I sized up. I nearly got this in the large, and I find, you know, sometimes I'm typically a large in skirts, especially elasticated skirts, but sometimes they have these skinny bands and they're kind of tight, and I prefer them looser. And this one I could see in the picture had a skinny band, so I'm glad I sized up. There was stretch in it, but not, you know, a whole lot. And I find that if it pulls tight, and it's tight, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel very good. This skirt is beautiful. It has ruffles, if you can see the ruffles, and many layers. It's just lovely. I, oh, I did get this one on clearance. This one was $12.99, so I guess I got a couple of things on clearance. This one was $12.99, but I thought it was just beautiful, completely beautiful. It is gonna be, it's lined, it is lined. It's gonna be made out of man-made material. It's gonna be polyester, I can feel it. If I can find the label. And I can't, so let me see if I can see it from the inside. Sometimes these labels, oh, it's actually at the top. And this is made from 100% polyester and the lining is also 100% polyester. But that's completely beautiful. And I'm actually hoping this one works out because for $12.99, you know, that's a good price for a skirt. And I'm gonna try that on with the white top and see how that looks. Although I already don't think they're gonna go together. Okay. This top is very generously sized. I definitely do not think I'm an extra large in this top. I think I should have stuck with my true size and ordered a large. It is not helped, the oversizedness is not helped by the extremely large arms and just everything about it is loose. I feel like an artiste or, you know, a bit of a hippie. And uh, yeah, it doesn't feel as bad as I thought. I thought it was gonna feel really thick and it doesn't, it does actually feel quite nice on my skin. I mean, it's cotton, it's gonna feel nice. And I don't mind this at all, although I would never tie those up. I just leave it dangling down. It's a nicely made shirt. It's just extremely generously oversized or it's the correct size because I'm again ordering up. I just think it's quite, it's quite generous. And when it's, a little bit too big like this. I think that the sleeves don't help. Like I think the sleeves have been like tight sleeves. I might have been able to get away with the looser feel, but it, it's just, it's really big. Quality's good, 
sizing is generous. On the bottom I'm wearing the skirt, which is completely lovely. I mean, it just, it flows nicely. I love the tears. I love the pattern. I'm hoping you can see the tears better now I've got it on. And they're all connected. It's just, it's lovely. It is lined with polyester and it is that not so nice lining that is sticking to my legs because I'm hot. Even though I sized for the extra large, I don't like how tight this waistband is. I can, I can feel it. And I know you have to feel it because it has to stay up, but I can really feel it. And I'm wondering if this skirt, oh, it's so warm in here. I'm wondering if this skirt would be a nicer high waisted skirt because the band is black. Um, but I actually, looking in the mirror, I don't really like that with this skirt. I think it does look better when it's lower down um, but because the waistband is annoying and because it is sticking to my legs and I'm only a little bit hot I'm gonna have to set it back because I just I can't I can't take it it's just not breathing at all and I need breathability in my clothes especially when it's a beautiful flowy like summery piece like this like a dancing I'd want to put this on for a nice summer day or a nice uh, like spring summer evening and it's just too hot so Quality is there for the top, but oversized. And this is just a typical man-made skirt, just no breathability. Really cute though. I'm gonna stick with the white top and I'm also gonna try it with these pants. Now the pattern on these pants is gorgeous. Gorgeous, they had this in a jumpsuit, they had this in a caftan, and they had this in pants and I ordered the pants. I was interested in the caftan, but it was $36. These cost me $26. I thought they were $36. They cost me $26. The jumpsuit was $36. That's what I was thinking of. And the caftan was $36. So $26 is okay. It's at the higher end for Walmart. But $36 for a summer cover-up just seemed like a lot of money from Walmart. And before I tested out Scoop to see if the quality was worth it, I don't want to spend that much for Walmart. But I do love this pattern. These are culotte style. They're wide leg style wide legged style and they are scoop women's cropped wide leg smoke smoked waist pants and i got these in a large because i could see it has a wider i don't know if you can see it has a that's the back has a wider band and it looked like it had a nice amount of stretch and i didn't want the butt and the legs to be too easy breezy but i think those are a beautiful looking trouser pant and these are made of probably the same oh no they're rayon so I'm probably gonna like these a lot if they fit because they're lovely really lovely and I if I do like them the quality seems good enough that I might try the $36 caftan I don't know <laughs> all right let's see how that looks these pants these are everything these are awesome pants $26 totally worth it am I gonna buy the caftan I think so these are wonderful just imagine these trousers, a white top that does fit, and the cap down on top, how beachy. I'm, for some reason this year, I'm, I'm never really into it, but this year I'm really into like coordinating pieces, and people are making them, so it must be, it must be on trend, but it, that's not why I like it. I just, for some reason, like it. Um, but these are awesome, they are wide. They come down to about my ankles. Remember, I'm five foot four and a half, so if you were taller, they would be, higher which might look a little bit like more intentional to be that length whereas on me maybe they look a little bit like their trousers that are shrunk but I love them they're breezy they're easy to move in they feel great they're so super light like they're also made of the rayon and it's the, because they're so loose I'm not noticing that they're not breathable these are I mean they're wonderful I'm wearing white underwear so if you can see it but that's what I would wear and I wouldn't really care these feel lovely here is the waistband you can see it's not digging into me there's no overflow of like fat from the size large like it they fit really nicely they're nice and loose here I'm not a tucker inner so I would probably wear a top that was like there or not a top I I am in love like the pattern, the color, the fabric, the fit, 
100%. Next up we have a dress and they are calling this the Scoop Woman's Patchwork Print Kimono with Tie Front. I know there's a little bit of a conversation about calling things kimonos at the minute and uh, a lot of people are calling them wraps but this, this is a dress, like to me this is a dress and this was $35 and for a, a cover up that seems like a lot of money but I think this is just a see-through dress, it is very see-through but I think, I mean, I think you could wear that as a dress with maybe it is very see-through. I'm gonna try it on as a dress and see how it fits because I think this is a, it's beautiful. They have this in another color as well and this is probably rayon, it feels like rayon. Is this rayon? The tickets are not easy to find. It must be down here. It's always down the bottom in dresses. Dun, 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 dun. But not in this one because they're not calling it a dress, they're calling it a kimono. Oh, it's right, it's right there. Um, again, I got this in a large slash extra large, so we'll see if that makes a difference in how it fits. And this is 100% viscose. And that, there it is, I think it's gonna be knee length, and it looks, it just looks stunning. We'll see if it's too see-through, it might really just be a cover-up, in which case I think $36 is a little bit steep. We'll see how that fits. I do think you could wear this as a dress. I don't think it's as incredibly see-through as it seemed. I am wearing white underwear, which is what I'd wear. It's a little low on the front, but I keep putting it up. I think this dress is really beautiful. No, no pockets. Um, I do think you could use it as a cover-up or as a dress. I think as a dress, it's fine. It's nice and breezy. It feels really good. My only complaint is that it feels a little tight on my hips. I'm not saying it doesn't fit. I'm just saying that, like I say, I like things a little bit looser. I don't like to be able to feel them. Um, I do think if I sit down, no, if I sit, see, it's a, just a little tight. It, it's fine. It would be completely fine if I wanted to wear this dress. Um, but, it's sticking to my legs. Um, I just find right here by my hips, see my hips? There's, there's not a lot of wiggle room and I prefer there to be a little bit more. I do think it fits and I do think I could wear it and so it's a large slash extra large. I would personally say that this is more of a 12-14, a large than an extra large, especially compared to the other clothes in this range that I have tried. I don't, I think if you are 16 or 16, 18, this would probably not fit you. So this is the first piece I've had that I really don't think is sized very well. However, it is two sizes. It is large slash extra large, which is a big size range. We're talking 12 to 18, and a 12 and an 18 are not alike at all. I don't know why they did that, um, because I don't think it, it fits. It fits. Personally, I think this would fit a size 12 really well, and that's about it. I am a 14, it fits me okay. Yeah, nice dress. Nice quality, really pretty. We're on to the last two pieces, the last outfit. So one of them is this top. It was $20.99 and they are calling it the Scoop Woman Smoked Printed Puff Sleeve Top. Now I don't have any puff sleeve tops and I do like them, I just haven't found any I like. I'm not the biggest fan of smocking. So I don't know that I'm gonna like the feel of this against my skin and there is a lot of smocking. It is an off the shoulder or on the shoulder, off the shoulder, it's your choice. And those are puffy sleeves. I got this in a size extra large and I don't know that I like how it feels but I do really like the pattern. It's very, very, very pretty. It's a gorgeous color. Just don't really like how it feels. It is 100% rayon. It must be the smocking I just don't like. But it's a very pretty top. And to go with this top, I brought this skirt. And this skirt is the Scoop Tiered Maxi Skirt Women's, $34. $34. I brought this in a size extra large, and that might be a mistake. That seems pretty loose on the waist, pretty big. Um, it has the tiers, but there is no stretch in the tier whatsoever. And there's no stretch in the fabric, so it's probably rayon. 
it is it's rayon um yeah it's just tears it's just a long a long white flowy maxi skirt one tier two tier three tier four and it's kind of thick it feels thick it's not lined and i'm it is see-through but again like i said it's white white so everyone always says it's see-through but white is typically see-through it's for white to not be see-through it has to be layered and then it's too hot for the summer so i'm okay with being a little bit see-through i mean it's rather i'm standing still for a length of time and i do have white underwear so or nude underwear okay anyway so let's see how that looks here's the last outfit now my thoughts on this are that it does look nice it does look cute from a distance but up close so here's the top and again like i said i don't really like the smoking it makes me feel sweaty because it's so tight on my skin but look at this top like I feel like it makes me look like I'm pregnant. It's all flowy here and tight here. Like there's supposed to be a bump there. And said there's just a food baby. And yeah, and I don't really like the the off the shoulders fine. Um, but I'm a bra wearer, like a full-on bra wearer. I don't do no bra and I hate strapless. So I was hoping I could put it up like this and wear a normal bra, but it shows like you cannot make that work. So it's definitely a more of an off the shoulder top. And it's cute, but I don't really like it. And I, the smoking, it really shows my back fat. And I don't like that at all. So I don't really like this top on me. Although I do think it's true to size. I actually think it's generous. And that you probably could get the large if you're my size. And if you're a 16, 18, the, the extra large would fit you. I think that might make this a little bit, this a little bit loose. Um, and this is perfect. It's not digging in at all. I think for this kind of top, this is probably uh, pretty good. I just don't really like it on me. And here is the skirt. And I don't like this skirt. And I don't like it because I can feel the stitch in here. And it doesn't feel soft or nice on my skin. Like when I walk, it's like having li like lines chopping into your leg. Like it's like chop, chop. <laughs> You can feel it and I can feel like one, three different lines. Like I'm walking and it's like pressure points. I just, I don't like that. So I think this dress fits really well. I thought the waist looked generous. It doesn't, it's not digging in. It's like a perfect fit and it's beautiful and flowy. It's got the great twirl. I just absolutely do not like feeling all those tears tight. If they put some elastic in them, so as you walked, I don't know, there was a bit of give. I don't know, but. Ugh, it just doesn't feel very nice on my legs. So my verdict on Scoop is that it is a little bit pricier. Some of the fabrics are a little surprising when you put them on, like they're a little bit thicker or they're just, they feel different to how you expected. However, I think the quality is actually pretty good. I Do I think it's better than Time and True? Well, I happen to quite like Time and True. I think the fabrics are a little bit better. I think their choice in materials to, to make the items are a little bit better. Do I think they're worth the price? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm kind of a cheap shopper, so remember that when <laughs> I'm a thrifty shopper, so remember that when you're, you know, listening to my advice. I think that it's worth looking at Scoop when they have sales or clearance or at the end of a season, maybe, because there's quite a few pieces that I think could be, what do they call that? Not closet, I can't remember what it's called. It's a piece that you put in your closet and, ah, the word is, hang on, I've got to find out. I turned the camera off and I remember the word right away, a capsule closet, capsule closet. There's a few things that I think you could buy for a capsule closet for like next summer if it goes on sale. So. I do like Scoop. I wouldn't rule them out and I would consider having a look and just keep an eye on one thing that's gone clearance. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I would love to have you as a viewer and of course, leave kind comments in the boxes below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in another video. Bye.